Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to move the origin point of an object in Blender 2.83. So let's open up Blender and we'll click on general. And in general scene, we've got our camera, our light source and our cube. I'm going to go into the wireframe and I'm going to zoom in onto this object. Now the origin point is this little orange dot that sits in the middle of an object. So if I were to delete this cube and if I press shift and A and insert a UV sphere, the origin point is in the middle, exactly in the middle of the object, right? That's called the origin point. So let's press shift and A and add a cube back because this is a better example to show you how to move the origin point. So if I zoom out and if I were to press R to rotate and then Z, lock it on the Z axis, it's going to rotate around this origin point, rotate around the origin point. And we want to move the origin point to a different location. So I'm going to press the number one on my keyboard. In fact, what I'll do is I will turn on my screencast keys. So let's just check that again. So we do R to rotate and then lock it on the Z axis. Then we can rotate around that Z axis, right? We'll press number one on the keyboard. That takes us into the front orthographic. I'm going to zoom in on this cube, then hold down the shift key and the middle mouse button so I can pan to this top corner here. So I want to zoom right in very, very close, right? So I want to be as accurate as possible. So I'm going to see the blocks quite big like this, looking, zooming right in. I'm going to click on the 3D cursor tool and I'm going to click into this corner here. So I'm placing it very accurately. You know, if you zoom out and you just click here from somewhere, then it might not be such an accurate pinpoint. So I want to place it quite accurately. Now the 3D cursor is in that location. Can you see it's in the top corner, right? But the origin point is still here, but the 3D cursor is here. So now we can go to object, set origin, and we want to set the origin to the 3D cursor here. Now it moves the origin point to wherever the 3D cursor was. We can press um, Shift and C. And Shift and C will leave the origin point there. But it will place the 3D cursor back into the center of this uh, this scene. Yeah, It's placing the, the, the center, the, the, sorry, the uh, 3D cursor back to its original place. So when you want to go and add a new object, you press Shift A and you add a circle, then it's going to place it in the original uh, location. Let's delete this circle. Let's click on the cube. In fact, let's uh, press Shift and C. We'll set the origin point back and we'll go back to our selection tool here and we'll click on the cube. And now we're going to rotate it again. So if we press R to rotate. You can see now it's rotating from the corner, right? From the corner here. So we can press R to rotate and then Z lock it on the Z axis and that's going to rotate this way. So imagine if you're making some sort of door and you want the door to swing open. Now you can do that, right? So that's the, how we move the origin point. So depending on where you place it, uh, will determine how this object rotates or, you know, uh, how we can manipulate the object uh, in terms of its rotation. So this is quite important in Blender, especially when you're modeling objects or if you want to move an object or, or change its, um, rotation in a certain way then you need to learn how to move the origin point now if we were to go to the 3d cursor and click randomly over here somewhere and then go object remember the object must be selected first right so make sure you select the object it will highlight like this then we'll go to the 3d cursor and place it randomly over here somewhere go to object set origin origin to 3d cursor now the middle point or the origin point for this cube is located here Right. So when we rotate, if we press R to rotate and then Z, we're now rotating the cube at this point, this origin point here. So that's quite interesting. So if you want to manipulate an object in a certain way, um, understanding how to position that origin point is quite important. You can see that, right? You can be a bit more accurate with that. We can just press escape. Um, you can press number seven and look at it from the top orthographic, right? So now we're looking top down at this object. You can see the origin point is a bit in a strange location. Let's imagine we want to place it right here. We can click on the uh, 3D cursor tool and then we can place the origin point a bit more accurately, right? Somewhere around here, for example. We're actually placing the 3D cursor here. Now we're going to move the origin point from here for this cube, from here to here. We just go to object, set origin, origin to 3D cursor. Now when we press R to rotate, then Z, we're going to rotate around this point here. Right, and you may want to look at it from the front orthographic. You can see it's quite high. So sometimes you need to move between the front orthographic and the um, top 
orthographic to see exactly where it's positioned in 3D space. So now we know we can move it down to maybe about here. So we'll click on the 3D origin. Let's, uh, sorry, the 3D cursor. Let's click around here. Sometimes you have to be like super accurate, like around here is good. Object, set origin, geometry, uh, sorry, origin to 3D cursor. Now you can see that it's placed along this red line, but exactly in the middle of this object, right? From the top perspective, number seven, and from the right perspective, number one, or the front perspective. So now we can move out into our 3D view and we can rotate around there. So let's press R to rotate, then Z, and we can rotate around that origin point. Okay. So what if we want to set the origin point back to the center of the cube? So to do that, what we'll do first of all is press Shift and C. Shift and C will set the 3D cursor back to the center point. And this cube was generated from that original location, right? So now we can just go to uh, Set Origin, Origin to 3D Cursor. Now, when we click on our Move Tool, our cube R to rotate, Z will be back in its original position. So someone on um, YouTube was asking me this question, how do we move the 3D cursor? So this is a good example of that. I'm gonna show you one quick more example. I'm gonna delete this, press Shift and A, and insert a text object. So this is a text object. Let's press R to rotate, then we'll lock it on the X axis and type in 90, so it's sitting facewards. And let's just click here, press the Tab key to edit it, and we'll just type in We'll just type in origin and we'll press tab to come out of there. Let's just go to the text here, set some geometry to this. So let's uh, let's extrude this object, right? Let's give it some depth. Let's in fact set it back to solid view, It'd be a bit easier to see. Now, this object, its origin point is here, can you see? It's down here. So we, if we were to rotate this, imagine if we were to rotate it from the center, if we did uh, R to rotate, and then Z, you can see it's rotating like this. But we want it to rotate from the middle point. Now, when we create text objects, there's a few different ways to do this. I'm um, just going into the front orthographic. You can do it by going to the uh, horizontal here and setting it to center, and top baseline setting that to center. Now, that would now place the origin point in the center of this object, right? But I'm going to undo that. There's another way to do that. You can go to Object, Set Origin, and then we can do um geometry to origin so it's going to set the geometry of this object to the origin point now when we rotate it r to rotate and then lock it on the z axis you can see it's rotating from the center point that's just another example of moving the origin you can actually move text from here the origin point from here but using this tool here will be more um more precise let's say okay let's go ahead and close down blender Okay, so that's how you go about moving the origin point in Blender 2.83. I hope you find this tutorial useful and I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial.